Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to today's session and I hope you're uh, ready to go with um, our social environment and the Ning. If you could add in the chat box uh, where you're at right now and uh, anything else you'd like to add like the weather, is it raining and uh, how you feel today on this uh, Friday morning, noon or night, whatever it happens to be. So sunny is always nice. Is it summer, winter, or fall? We've got uh, people from around the globe, so it's uh, it's hard to imagine, you know, being in uh, the Western Hemisphere and getting information from the Eastern, from the North, and from the South. So, uh, hello, Sajeda, and where are you? You may call me Nelly. <laughs> That's what everybody calls me. Uh, some friends call me Dr. D, but that's just, uh, that's like a joke. Uh, but my students call me uh, Dr. Deutsch, but that's only face-to-face -face and uh, in school where things are quite formal. But this is not, okay? Uh, learning online is uh, learning at its best. And there's no such thing as formality. At least I hope there isn't. You don't hear anything? Um, that if anyone doesn't hear anything, I think that you may have uh, problems because I see the bar going up and down in my area. So it should be fine. So if anyone doesn't hear, okay, let me just add that because they don't hear me. If you don't hear, um, contact and I'm serious about this support at was IQ because they will fix everything all right um, later okay if that's possible right now I don't know what you can do so um, I apologize to anyone who uh, loses their audio but generally um, go to settings and it should be fine and fix your audio sometimes it drops all right so knives good to see you and Tom and those of you who were uh, in the other session with Jennifer I know how difficult it is hello Helena how difficult it is to go from one session to the next it is draining because online learning is more active I think than face-to-face for the participants maybe not for the teachers because the teachers do move around and so on so they may lose energy in a face-to-face -face class but online the only energy is using our keyboard and that could be quite um, physical <laughs> for many of us so uh, thank you thank you everyone all right so this session is part of a course and the name of the course is Blend and Flip with Technology, which means that either you're blending and you work in a face-to-face -face, uh, traditional, I don't like to call it traditional, but face-to-face -face, uh, environment in a school or organization or privately, and you wish to blend and flip with technology. If you're teaching fully online, you can also blend and flip with technology. It doesn't have to be only flipping and blending in a face-to-face -face environment. So by the way, if you could just add in the chat box a little bit about your teaching background. Do you teach face-to-face, -face, online, combination, blended, or every kind of format like I do? I teach fully online at the uh, university, Atlantic University an AMA program for uh, personal development and I teach fully online on WizIQ the way I'm doing right now and uh, at Integrating Technology for Active Lifelong Learning or IT for All Moodle and I also teach face-to-face -face at a university and high school so I've got it all Okay, so a little bit about excellent face-to-face -face and fully online. I think that's an excellent combination because it really makes us whole. 
um, and we get a chance to uh, feel the differences and similarities. Thomas teaches all, mostly online. And you know what? If I asked you, what do you prefer? Uh, do you have a preference? Online. Okay. Well, there are so many uh, wonderful benefits to teaching online. <laughs> That's right, Fatima. And yet, I personally, as much as I love online, I need um, to be on stage in front of people, breathing people. I need to see people's faces, expressions, emotions, and I need to connect with them. I want to I wanna make a difference in people's lives. And I feel that in a face-to-face -face situation, I can touch them in different ways than I can online, even though I've managed to um, have uh, influence on people online. But personally, I need the, uh, the energy that um, everybody brings to a face-to-face -face class. Okay, Helena, Helena understands uh, what I mean. Yes, why not blended? That gives us both worlds, Thomas. You're absolutely right. Well, today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my adventures. And I think some of you may be there already. Uh, let me just add the link for future reference. Don't forget, you can actually uh, copy the chat at some point or at the end or have someone do it for you if you can't make it to the end. But you can also... Um, access the chat in the recordings and it's called connecting online.ning.com it's a social network how many of you have heard of ning give me a thumbs up in the chat box if you've heard of ning n i n g thank you nope oh interesting all right. First time. Right, Thomas has heard from me. Okay, thank you, Alina. Second time. All right. Well, I used to have about 10 nings, 10, 10 nings, but um, I couldn't afford them because a few years ago, ning became available only to those who can afford it. First of all, to teachers, but up to, I think, 150 participants, and then now not even to teachers. So now, if you don't have a sponsor, uh, you probably cannot afford Ning. However, you can join my Ning because I have a sponsor. And it's really wonderful. Afford because now it costs money. Ouch, yes. It costs money, but I think it's worth it. It's amazing. And if I think of Moodle as amazing because it has a great tracking system and easy, you know, for school, universities, and so on, K-12, the Ning is a wonderful social network for adults, even for kids, but for adults. All right, so let's get to it. The name of the Ning that I shared with you in the chat box is called Connecting Online. And Ning did start as a social network completely free. It was wonderful, uh, but then it was sold and uh, it became a, uh, a business. All right, a little bit about uh, my background. I uh, do whatever I do with uh, the participants in mind, which is why I enjoy face-to-face -face so much because I, I understand what's happening. With a chat box, it's not always easy to predict what's going on or to feel what's going on. Everybody seems happy, which is wonderful, but that's not life. Um, I base all my uh, sessions on relationships and how they develop. 
And I believe that relationships come as a result of socially engaging activities. So right now I'm just talking to you. There aren't any socially engaging activities. So this is more of a uh, traditional teacher talking to participants. I don't like the word students, so to participants. Yeah, it's a very, very much lecture format. Some of my online was IQ lecture-like formats do have some kind of engagements where we go somewhere else. But right now, this is a very traditional like uh, lecture type. All right, so connecting um, or CO now is one four started way back in 2009. That's when the first uh, Connecting Online conference started. But before it started, it, there was a Connecting Online Ning. So I think the Ning is a bit older than that. And the idea is to connect for learning. Most of the participants are educators, but there are others as well. WizIQ was kind enough to sponsor my Ning. Um, so I don't pay a yearly fee, but if you're interested, it's not that expensive. You know, when you think about it and the value that it has, it comes out to about a $300 a year. Okay, for as many participants as you wish. It was less, but now it's going to be 300 And if you pay at one time, if you pay every month, it's only $30. Okay, $30 a month, you know, is not that much. Okay, so um, it's something to consider, but it still costs money. So it's a paid platform. Uh, some of the features of connecting online. Uh, for those of you who know about a Ning, maybe you can remember some of the features. What features would you expect from a social network that allows the participants to engage in activities that connect them, unites them, um, helps them learn through socially engaging activities. Yeah, there is a free trial. Yes, definitely. There is a free trial. I think it's free for 30 days, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there is. Right now, they're in a transition. They're going from um, Ning 2.0 to Ning 3.0, which is uh, a bit different, but it's going to have a lot more from what they say. Yeah, the link, once again, you can join it for free, of course, because it's free to you. It doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> okay, let me get that straight. I'm not selling. Okay, it doesn't cost anything, okay, for you. As participants, I'm just kidding. If you want to get your own Ning, it will cost you money. All right, but uh, I'm not, uh, I don't promote anything that costs money. All right, so it's free and you can use it and you can make a lot of uses. So what would you like in a social network that maybe Facebook doesn't have or it has, but you don't like? Okay, so what would you like in a social network? So I see, Mamadou, you agree with me about, yeah, socially engaging activities. Yeah, we, we like to have fun. I mean, you know, I'm having fun because I'm talking, but you're listening. I, I think it's a lot more fun to speak than to listen, right? Uh, it's more engaging unless you can do it actively, which I'm going to be talking about on Sunday, active listening. Okay, so I don't see anybody writing anything. Um, so let me uh, help you out. Okay, so what kind of features does this social network have? Well, first of all, oh, you're thinking slowly. That's okay. You don't have to think. I'll, I'll give you all the answers. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> no reason. You're you're fine. You're you're listening. All right. So first of all, there are members. You become a member, okay, of this social network. And look at all the features. They're all up here, so you don't really have to think. Um, you can add these links or uh, headings to your own Ning. If you'd like me to add something, I can add as the administrator since this is my network. Um, but you can add your Facebook page if you like. You can add your website link. You can add anything you want, but since Connecting Online is connected to a conference, an annual conference uh, that's in February, I added that too. So you've got Connecting Online and all the conferences. There are books that participants can write a chapter in, and that's part of it. You have your page. And your page has the following. It has a list of your friends. It has photos. It has events that other people share and that you share. It has your videos and other people's videos. It's even better, Knives. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, I live on Facebook, as you know, but Ning is a lot, lot better. Uh, there's a discussion form, and you can start your own discussions and join others' discussions. There are groups, and you can create your own groups, and you can join other groups. And you have your blogs. You have your personal blog. You can share it with the other members. Private. You can share it with the world. Okay, so you've got your own blog, and you have a chat. And if you'd like to ask for donations, you can do that. Okay, I think I'm going to take that down. I don't even know why it's there. Uh, chat. Okay, so here is the chat. The chat has the main room, but you can also go to other rooms. And you see, that's why I think Knives was thinking of Facebook, because it's got this very similar Skype has it to the green light. How many of you have seen? green lights like these. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you've seen a green light like that. You lost me? I see the voice going up and down. Is it getting weaker? Is it? Well, is it getting weaker? No, I think it's fine. All right. All right. Um, yeah, it seems to be fine. Um, yeah, I'm okay. I can see I, I keep checking to make sure that the sound bar is going all the way to the red. See, I have everything right in front of me. All right, so the green. So what is the green? Where have you seen this green before? I mentioned it on Skype. Uh, you can also see it in the chat on Facebook. Is it raining in Italy? I wonder. Let me see if it's still, yeah. Um, could be. You may want to refresh or just wait a few seconds. Sometimes it needs to balance things. Okay, it means that you're available. That's right. Okay, it means that the chat is on. All right, if you click over here, the chat's really small, but if you click over here, you can make it larger. All right, so let's do that. Okay, click over here to enlarge and pop out. And then it becomes really, really big like this. Okay, that's a good size. By the way, with WizIQ too, you can make the, uh, the chat pop. Okay, pop out. So that uh, I'll do it for the recordings so that everybody can see it there. Okay, I made it pop out. I'll make it pop back in. Okay, to make it easier for you, the green button says that I am on, not off. Green is on. It's on Skype. It's on Gchat. It's on every chat. Facebook chat. The green means on. Red, off, or gray. Okay, Teresa. All right, so these are some of the uh, possibilities. 
on the Ning, and I'm going to take you to connecting online in a minute. You see these editing? You can edit everything. You click on the edit and you can edit the left, the center, and the right. Okay, so it's really important because I like to make changes. I don't know about you. How many of you like to change the layout of your pages? I like changes. I get bored if I don't, right? So you can do that. You can change the layout of your page. You can have your own page and um, you can change it as you wish. All right, so these are some of the features. You can have a description, the members. These are all the features. Badges too, by the way. Groups, forums, photos, and so on. And then there's on the left, you can move them. Okay, these are all, you can drag any of these and move them. Notice music costs money, so I don't have it. But uh, I don't know how much even. Okay, there's the chat. These are all free features on the Ning. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Okay, and these are applications. You can also add applications for free on your Ning. Cafe Press. Ustream, uh, Twitter Tracker, music, okay, all kinds of nice apps to your Ning. And these are some of the groups, all right, that I created. Okay, there's a, a group that um, an English teacher created. Her name is Bernadette Rego. I believe she's a Spanish and English teacher. Anybody hear of her? So she um, created a group called Language Educators. And notice the social. What's social about this? Well, you can share. Do you see all the sharing opportunities? Oh, I'm sorry, Knives, that you're losing connection. Uh, let me see if I can improve on it. Maybe I can make it. I'll make it louder. Oh, it's pretty loud. I don't know if that's going to... That makes it even... It. You lose the clarity. Is it better? Oh, it is better? Uh, you're in Pakistan. All right, so try to <laughs> try to maybe refresh. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe get rid of my video. You can get rid of my video by by there's an X. Get rid of it. That'll make it faster for you. So get. Let me write that down. Get rid of of my video. Get rid of it. Okay, if you get rid of it, it should make it faster. Okay, get rid of it. Uh, there's, I think there's an X there. If you click on the X, it will take it away. Do you see it, Knives? No X? Uh, does anybody see it? I know there is a way to get rid of it. I've done it in the past. No, no X? Um, interesting, because I do it to other people. Arrow? Um, no, the arrow is only going to bring it down to the bottom. No, minimize is not going to get rid of it. But there should be an X. Your connection must be okay, because if it says that it's uh, affecting your internet connection, it'll say so, and then you'll see the X. So I guess now it's okay. All right, so look at all the arrows. All these arrows are social, okay? Invite people. You can invite people. You can send a message to your friends or to the group. You can click on like. You can share this with Twitter or share it in other areas, and you can like it. Everything about the Ning screams social social all 
All right. Now let's go to the blogs. Okay, the blog posts are really great. You can have your own blogs and you can share it with others. All you have to do is go to the plus add and you'll get your blog. And let's do it right now. Okay, we'll give this room a rest. <laughs> Maybe this room is getting too tight. So let's give it a rest. I'd like you to go now to the uh, connecting online and create an account if you don't already have one. All right, so click on that and you'll hear my voice. You won't have to see. Uh, you won't have to see my webcam and maybe the connection will be better. Hello, Tammy. Good to see you. It's been such a long time. All right, so Tammy, there's a link there. I hope you um, managed to get it. Click on it, and I think, I'm not sure if you're there or not. Oh, you see it? Okay, click on it, and um, I'm going to go over there. So I'm going to screen share. I hope this doesn't make it any slower for you guys. Okay, so um, let me screen share. And uh, good. So I'm going to get rid of my uh, minimize. There we go. So I don't see myself. And uh, let me put get rid of my. Video. That should I put an X on mine. That may make things better. Okay, you're going there now. All right. So I'm going to go there myself. All right. So uh, let me start screen sharing. Hope everything goes well. Okay, all right. There, you didn't hear my voice for a second, but I'm right here. Let me take you to the Ning. Okay, so welcome to the Ning. This is the Ning, and I see Helena's here. Well, that was fast. Helena, there you can see Helena and myself. We're both there. And then I can write something here. Uh, let me write. First, I'll try to make this smaller. So you can see, okay, so I'm going to say, hi, Helena. There we go. There, hi, Helena. And then Helena can respond to me. And I'm going to wait for everybody else to come. As you can see, I'm on the blog page. Okay, this is the blog page. And this is what I said before, that I can add a blog. Okay, so if I click on the add, okay, there I am. I'm going to click on the add, and then now I can start. Okay, I can start. Let me make this a bit bigger. There, remember I told you I can make it bigger? There, I made the chat a bit bigger. Okay, so I don't have to Let's see, Helena's still not responding. But, oh, there she responded. How, haven't seen you. I'm going to have a personal conversation here. Haven't seen you for a few days, maybe longer. How are you? Okay, there we go. See, uh, I think Jennifer and we had this chat um, in the session for the ELT listening and pronunciation, pronunciation listening about connecting online it it is very personal i think that connecting online is even more personal than face to face because we use writing and everybody feels very comfortable okay there is nothing oh i'm sorry to hear that helena okay so you can join the conversation um and we you will in a minute we'll have this uh, chat over here i just wanted to show you as we go that uh, this is how you start. Oh, I see two members. Notice here, two members are waiting to get approved. This is a password protected website. 
so Teresa and Tom ah Tom I was sure you were here so I'm going to you can see what I'm doing here I'm going to uh, accept their membership there it's processing there we go so now we've got Teresa and I can make friends with them let me I'm going to click on Teresa and uh, here I can welcome her okay and you can welcome her too Helena this is now you've got a job so welcome hi and welcome okay welcome to co now it's co14 next year it's going to be co15 did i hear somebody's voice okay and um i'm also going to become friends i'm going to make friends see add as a friend so teresa i'm going to make you a friend the questions that we have are to make sure that we get no spammers. I uh, I make sure that spammers don't come. I can also send her a heart, okay, and I can send a message. See, there are a lot of things here to connect to Teresa, okay. Lots of um, wonderful socially engaging features, okay, and of course activities are part of it. So let me go to the members and see if anyone else wants to um, to join. So far, we're still waiting. I am on SB. What is SB Computer? Helena, I'm not sure. What is that? Well, you hear my voice, so you can answer, right? What is SB? I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so let's get back to the blogs. Remember, I want to create a new blog okay so um, I'm going to go back to the blog and I can start new blogs what I wanted to show you I click on add you add the subject and look at this wonderful okay you've got an HTML mode and a visual mode and look, look at all this I can add videos and images it's so much fun okay so let's go to the video I can paste it here or I can add it in other ways and then I can decide on the link what I want to call it add tags I can share it now or choose another time to send my blog post I can share my blog post with everyone or just me I can write for myself and reflect okay just me I can also share it if I want on Twitter I can preview it and and see what it looks like well there's nothing there okay so that's about blogs groups are the same way okay you can start a group by clicking on add Helena I think didn't you start a group on Polish culture okay so I'm not sure look these are all the groups that we have so far and you're invited to create your group okay there are few, quite a few of them all right so let's go to the discussions now discussion forms okay look can kids teach kids this is old okay so we can start you can start a discussion by clicking on add and that's how it's done oh I see somebody added a photo Let's see. Oh, Thomas, you've added a photo. See, everything has to be approved because that's how I want it. I want to make sure that we don't get any anyone posting uh, crazy things. Okay, so I want this uh, to be spam free without uh, any problems, which is why I'm moderating everything. So I apologize, but this is to keep everybody safe. Okay, here's a new member. So I click on the new member. Hello, Fatima. There we go. We've got Fatima. And I'm going to accept. Okay, so we've got Fatima. So let's see, is Tom in the chat? No, Tom is not in the chat. I just, um, it'll take him a while to get back in, I guess. So Tom, you can get back in. You can see there are 1,388 uh, members right now. Oh, there's Tom, but where's your photo? It should appear now because I approved it. 
so try again try to add it to your profile how do you add it you go to your page okay so let me go to my page and show Tom how that's done okay this is my page okay and I can change my profile change photo Tom you're gonna have to go and change your photo okay and I can also have photo stickers and different effects this is very social your students will love it and by the way you can bring your students here you can create a group for your class okay so crop I need to crop it anyways follow the uh, instructions and you can get it there so Tom you need to go into your profile click on your image and then change it and once you change it we'll see your new photo your profile photo okay so we should be able to see that I can also talk only to Tom and I can say hello Tom and I can speak privately only to Tom okay let me give a smiley uh, there's a smiley for Tom there we go so you see this is a private conversation with Tom I can also have a private conversation with Helena okay here's Helena this is private so that no one will see it but Helena and I this is a well right now you see it because I'm screen sharing this is a private conversation so there's so much that you can do on this there okay so I'm privately okay this is just like on Facebook ah Fatima's here hi Fatima there we go so it's really a very engaging get your classes here get your students create a group for them and uh, let's connect our students okay we each have students some of us have whole classes it doesn't have to be the whole class it could be if you're teaching a face-to-face -face class not everybody has a good internet connection even though on the Ning it's pretty good I see that Fatima's now has a private conversation with me and oh I love that F for Fatima she just changed her uh, let's see if there's anybody else here that needs uh, help let me go back home to make sure that uh, let's see notice the chat stays no matter where I go the chat is going to stay oh I see we have another new member this is a lot of fun there hello Abjil Jabbar. Okay, there we go. See, it's there. So now we have another one. And here I can say hi to Fatima. Okay, so bring your students. Okay, bring them along. But just make sure that they tell me that, you know, that it's your student. Say, this is Fatima's student. This is a student from. Okay, so that, um, let's see, Tom, I'm still waiting. To see your photo let's see let's go into Tom and see if he's changed his photo I don't see that he has but I don't, I don't know why um, Tom because I see that Fatima had no problems with her photo okay we've got another name ah knives made it welcome knives you're gonna love this bring your students online face to face it'll be a chance for students to connect and learn together okay so feel free to start a class we'll join it could be an international exchange okay so um, anyone else need help <laughs> you're writing very good all right so uh, notice we've got private chats and we've got um, other chats let's see if anybody else has joined if you'd like me to make you administrator I can do that I can make you administrator so you have uh, more rights I'll be happy to in fact well let's see if, let me go back home and see if anybody else has joined Uh, see another photo here let's see whose photo oh very nice Tom that's wonderful is that one of your children I see or oh, one of your students 
I think I saw that somewhere. It's a graduation. But I don't know, Tom, why your photo hasn't changed. I think maybe you didn't go there yet. Oh, it is? What? Which? What is it, Tom? I'm not sure. <laughs> See, this isn't a great I can talk and you can write text. Okay, anybody else trying to get in? Um, we'll continue this. I see someone has started a discussion topic. That's excellent. Okay, so who would be interested in Polish? All right, I think you need to edit that. You can edit. How do you edit if you make a mistake? Okay, very good, Helena. Um, let's say you made a little error here, for example. What do you do if you make a typo? We all make typos. Well, you go into your discussion and then you go into uh, edit. I don't think I can edit yours. So you have to go into, let me go into my discussion and show you how it's done. Let's say this one uh, here, I would agree with you 30 years ago, whatever. I think it's this one. No, nope. um, my discussions. Uh, I think this is my discussion. There are discussions here from ages ago. You simply go to options, Helena, sorry, you go into options, and then you always have edit, and then you can make changes. That's what's wonderful. Um, this is an amazing tool. And I interviewed the lady who started it, Gina. Oh, there, Teresa, you've got your image. You need to all the way and say, ah, so maybe Thomas didn't save it. Good point, Teresa. Teresa says when you change your photo, you need to scroll all the way down and save. Yes, save is very important. But I don't think that will be Thomas's problems. Thomas is pretty. But, you know, we all make these little mistakes. True. All right. So let's see if uh, Helena managed to uh, edit. interested you need to add a T here okay I'm sure you'll be able to do it by going into options at the top right and edit all right so isn't it beautiful it's very colorful you can change if you go to your page and this is where this is your page um, you can make all kinds of changes you can edit um, you can add events you can here's your blog post discussion event photos video this is all yours you can add something hello to everyone or write how you feel today i feel wonderful okay for example and you can share this with twitter and facebook i can share it okay you can comment on my comments um what else can you do? You can go to the left here. Notice what's here. You can click on blog, your blog posts, your discussions, your events. These are all yours. My likes. Okay, you can also go over here into your inbox. On the top right is your inbox. Oh, there, Thomas. We see you with your profile photo. Excellent. Inbox. You can get messages there helena july <laughs> that's an old message okay you can go to messages okay and um and so on okay i see someone else that's waiting for approval i'm going to stop this approval let's see ah using ning to more very nice lovely discussion Thank you for starting that. You see, I did everything approval because, but I can give you rights where I don't have to approve you. But since um, you're new, all right. Very good. All right. So let's see if there's anyone else trying to get in and then we'll go back to the class now that you've got a feel for it. No, I see nobody else, but I'm sure you will. Okay. Um, let's go back to class okay so here we are we're back in class I'm going to stop screen sharing there we are all right 
So I took down my um, webcam. I hope uh, it's faster now. We're back. Everybody here? Tammy, I didn't see you. Uh, did you try to create an account? All right, so how many of you have accounts? Give me a thumbs up, even though I know. So Knives has an account. Who else has an account on the Ning? It's wonderful. It really is. And we can use it together. That's the idea. The idea is to use connecting online together. It's yours now. Once you create an account, you're a member and it's yours. Okay, so uh, we can use that for uh, collaborative learning. Okay, so go ahead, Tammy, just click on it and get your account. Click on the link. And then when you do, I just have to approve you. Yes, just the link. Yeah, click on it and it'll ask you to create an account. You have to fill in a form. Um, I made it difficult so that we don't get spammers. All right, so let's continue and then we'll get to some questions. Hopefully we've got a little bit of time. Okay, so there's the link. Okay, connecting online. Okay. So questions, I'm going to pass on the mic and let you ask questions. I'm also going to give um, everybody the tools, writing controls. Okay, so you can add your questions to the uh, whiteboard. For those of you who are not familiar with a whiteboard, if you go to the A, you have to look on the left. There's a little A, it's very small. If you click on the A, you'll be able to see. Click on the A and you'll be able to use your keyboard because I think that's what most of us prefer. I don't even know how to write anymore. I think Jason also mentioned it today. I don't know how to use it on his heart. I mean, I can hold on to a pen, but uh, my writing is really bad. I think even my spelling is bad because I'm so used to uh, having a speller nearby. All right, so what options are there in Ning to promote student motivation? Well, first of all, you saw it. It's very much like a, uh, well, it's better than Facebook because you can start your own blog. You have your page. You can start a blog. You can start a discussion. You can choose whom you want to share the blog with, either with your friends, on the Ning, people outside the world, or you can share it on Facebook. You can connect the Ning with Facebook, with Twitter, but on the other hand, you can stay private. So students love the fact, I'll tell you what they love the most. They love the fact that they can add photos and videos. They can share YouTube videos, Vimeos, any kind of their own videos that they make, they create, and images, photos of themselves. They love that. That's what they love on Facebook too, right? They love the fact that on Facebook they can uh, share their photos. So Ning has that option of sharing photos. What is that? That looks like it's going to be interesting. I'm not sure how to look at, look at it. But um, yeah, that's what's nice about it. Um, oh, you, okay, you edit it. See, we don't say correct online, it's edit, because nobody makes mistakes online. You just make typos, and then we just need to edit. Isn't that a better word to tell your students, please edit your work. Don't correct it, edit. And then they don't feel so bad, right? Okay, so any other questions? Neves, sorry, Neves, not Knives. I'm sorry, Nee, Neves, Neves. 
I'll remember that. Sorry, I, I thought that I was mispronouncing it, but I wasn't sure. I apologize. Yes, you can start a blog and share it publicly. That's the whole point. And you can share it on Twitter, on uh, Facebook, LinkedIn. Exactly. Where's the IQ? What do you mean about the highlight? Oh, how do you change it? Well, you need to go into... Um, well, if you see it, it says, um, let me let me share that with you and I'll show you how it's uh, how it's done. OK, um, you need to go here. OK, I'll help you in a second. Knives, I'm just going to capture the image image for Neves Neves. Sorry, Neves. I have to practice, right? Uh, Neves. OK, so this is for Neves. Let me just add it. For Neves. Okay, so I'm going to pull up a uh, an image for Neves. Okay, I'm practicing. Okay, let me get it. Hope I find it. Uh huh. Let's see. What did I call it? Oh, here it is. Okay, let me try again. It didn't work for some reason. Let's try again. Um, here it is. Okay, I'm bringing up an image for Neves. And I don't know how long it's going to take. It may take a while. There it is. Okay, so there's the image. Okay, so while I'm demonstrating the image, I'm going to take everybody off. How's that? Okay, I'm going to take away your writing tools. Okay, so I took it away from you. Sorry about that. So that I can show um, where you can change the color, but maybe you've managed to do that, Neves. Okay, this is where you do it. You see the black here? I had an arrow here, but okay, there it is. Do you see where it is? There's the chat box. Here's where you add your message and you click on this. Do you see that? And that will change the font of your color in the chat. Now, if you want to change the font of your color in the uh, whiteboard, you do the same thing. All right, so let me give you tools so only you can do it okay nobody else will uh, here's a, a new whiteboard just for Neves so you go into the A okay you write whatever you want to write okay so let me uh, staying good so let me write something here I'll write hello and then there's uh, I'm sure you can see the color I go into the color, I highlight, and then it'll turn into red. If I want to make it larger, I go into, there we go. There's also a place to make it larger, larger, and larger. Okay, it takes practice, which I think is worthwhile. There we go. There's a big hello. Okay, I suggest you create a class. Many of you are afraid, I don't know why, but create, schedule a WizIQ class and play around with the, um, with the tools, the writing tools. It's really a lot of fun, but maybe it's more fun together, right? It's probably more fun together. So who would like the whiteboard? We've got five minutes uh, to practice. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna go to the, um, no, you're highlighting, but you're practicing. Who else would like to practice? Raise your hand and I'll give you um, practice writing, not playing around, not goofing around. Just practice uh, using the tools, the writing tools. No, 
it's not working okay so let me give you um audio and let's hear it what you have to say neves where is the problem yes oh. here I am. okay here I am. All right. Here I am. So, let's hear. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. The problem I've got is the highlight pen because I've used the um the colors of the text colors, but it's the highlight which is oh, no. only green. And sometimes when I'm using the whiteboard, I want to highlight like you know the green text is all the verbs and the yellow text is all the adjectives that sort of thing. That's where oh, I'm that's having so easy. All right, so I'll tell you what to do. You go into, you go oh, into good. the A. All right, so go into the A. Take the A out. Let me know when you've got it out. Did you click on the A? The A as in the as A in as in. Text. Hang on, the A. Oh, the, oh yeah, sorry, text box. Oh, the, oh yeah, right. sorry, text right, box. So yes. bring it to the center. Okay. And you got hey, okay. now click on it. Click on it. Got it. Okay, hey, got it. Now when you click on it, click on the hey, got it. I'm clicking on it too. So let me let me do it. Okay, so you're clicking yeah. on it. When you Okay, so when you click right, in the center of it. You do it. You do it. Well, you you do it, but you, you won't be able to see mine. Only in the recording because I'm recording this. But if you go, but that's okay. You'll be oh, able okay. to see it in the recording. So if you click on it and you go into I you you highlight it okay let's say i'm highlighting it you go into the color you see the color here i'll choose green and then you can also make it larger by going into the number there okay so actually you've got an editor you just have to use the editor okay and there's my he my green he you, what you're doing is you're simply highlighting it because you're not using the editor you're no, using uh yeah, you're yeah, not in the I'm... editor you need to go into the editor and stay with the editor I... I, it's... the letters, the letters. What, I do, what i wanted to do was actually well, highlight as well well you can highlight colors. it after oh yeah you Does can you can first get the color that you want and then you can highlight everybody see the screen uh, you could probably see it now. Okay, notice where I'm. But I'm not. Can you see the screen? I'm sc I'm okay. screen sharing. Okay, let me get another whiteboard so you can see that. Okay, there's another whiteboard. Okay, and don't write on it. If I go to the A and bring the A, do you s everybody uh -huh. see that? I can first of all make it larger. See, I'm making it larger by going into this number. Okay, I'll make it. Uh, see, it's going up, up, up to. I can make it like this too. I can make it a hundred. Okay, uh, it's another zero. It doesn't go that high. I think. Okay. I think it only goes okay. up to ninety. That's fine. Okay, it goes up to nine. And then I can write um, Neves. There's the N. Okay. Whoops. I just lost it. Okay, there it is. First, you have to write. So I'm going to write Neves, and then I'm going to um, yeah. go over it. You yeah. see that. <laughs> And I'll make it larger. Okay, that's how I make it larger. You see the numbers. And then I'm go going to this color here, line color, and make it red. And then I can go into this fill color and make it blue. See how beautiful it is? And then I can, there, isn't that nice? The blue background. And then I can click on it and make it maybe darker. I'll make it dark blue. Let's make it dark blue. All right, because that, that's kind of not contrasting too well and then there you see that's a bit better and then click on it again and then i can do all this i can make it bold hover over it make it bold okay there it's bold now okay so that's one thing i can do another thing i can do i can continue writing on it okay you notice i made it larger so i can write on it Okay, why don't you go and write in mine? You can go and write in mine now. And then you can yeah. also do what you did before. You can um, get uh, the highlight, okay, which is something else. Okay, there I can make a box. 
Uh, I can highlight it now. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's, talking about. that's what I'm talking about. Highlight, which is further to your right, that AB with the green yeah. on it. I can't seem I to change did. that. Go into the knives. What do you mean the AB? The text. Well, there, I changed well, it into orange. Now I'll make it purple. Well, yeah, no, it's not the same thing. Um, that I can change. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't have a problem with that. It's the highlight pin, which is only green. I'm changing it. You notice how I'm changing it? Now it's green. It's obviously not. You want to highlight the writing now? But you haven't. Yeah, just the highlight pin. Yeah, that you know when uh, when you actually write um, when you start writing in that a box in the text box and you have the controls up on top. If you go all the way to the right, you'll see A B and it's highlighted in green. That actual A B seems to be in green. It doesn't seem to be in any other. Oh, color. you're talking about that. Ah, that part. Oh, no, anyway, no, 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 no. Sorry, I, to, I get to, what you're talking. You're talking about the the highlight that's in green. Okay, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. You yeah, can change it. And last, you can change um, it. Yeah, you can make I, it red. Sorry, about yeah, but you can make it red. No, yeah, no, no. Just, you can uh, make it red too. Yeah. You can also change it to red. Uh, by going in to keep playing around with it, uh, there's no reason why it should be green. I see what you mean, but no, it could be any color you want it to be. Right now, see that just sh no Can that I make it red. The color. I make well, it red. I wanted to like um. You know when I have a t I'll tell you why when I. You can make it any color. The highlight yeah. pen. Anyways, if you have any questions, if it's not working for you or something, you can always contact Wiz IQ and ask them. I mean, that's what they're supposed to be doing. I don't seem to be able to change it. I haven't found a way to change it. I'll tell you what I do. What when I've got a text, I like it. No, but she wants to highlight. That's the point. I I did, I, I did, but they don't seem to know either. So I Who thought maybe. Who doesn't know? Who I doesn't ask know? You, sorry. That um, no, but who doesn't know? Time. No, I didn't. I'll I, find a I way. Didn't, um, I didn't hear you. Who doesn't know? I'll work it out. I'll keep, I'll work it out. I'll keep playing right. with it. No, but, but I, th uh, I think that there may be a bug there from what I saw. If it stays green, because with me it changed colors, but you might want to. Uh, you said you contacted support. I didn't. I didn't get that. If they have a problem, you know, maybe they did, maybe something happened and they have a problem, um, then you need to contact them and make sure that they fix it if there is a problem. You need to use the high, if you use the highlight pen, it's another, it's another thing. You highlight what's there, you don't highlight what you write. But if you go into the change color at the bottom left, You'll have the different colors for the uh, for the highlights. It's there. Oh, that hasn't changed. It's it's still there. All right. So keep trying and let me know. Uh, send me a screenshot. Send me a video. Uh, we talked about screen sharing, so you're invited to um, share the screen with Jing or using Screencast-O-Matic, and um, and I'll be able to help. In any case, um, I want to thank you for uh, joining the class and encourage you to uh, come to class, join the course, and um, let me get the link for you so that um, you can join. Thank you. There is the link. There is the link. Okay, so uh, there's a little bit about it. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. And join the NINC. We're going to have a lot of interesting discussions. And if you'd like to add that as a discussion, please do so. Uh, we can have a group on how to use the whiteboard and different ideas, best practices, and so on. Bye.
Thank you.